Hey guys, it's Jess. Good morning. Welcome to my vlog. Today I'm going to be taking you along for a summer day in the life. It is literally 11 o'clock because I could not sleep last night, so I slept in. I can't even talk. Today on the agenda we have I'm wrapping up a Spanish class today. I need to turn in a paragraph and do an exam. I am going to hopefully be making some TikToks. I'm going to be doing some Instagrams, doing just random stuff I do every day when I can. So yeah, I'm going to take you along for that. If y'all are new here, um, be sure to subscribe down below. Let me know what y'all think of this if you want to see more summer vlogs. But yeah, I'm going to go get some breakfast now. This morning, my mom made me some of that cinnamon toast stuff. So I'm about to get some jam and spread some jam on it. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> You're so pretty on camera. <laughs> She's so funny. Oh. Hi, Roxy. Roxy's just chilling. So right now what I am working on is my last assignment for my Spanish class. Normally during the first hour or two, hour to two of the day, depending on how much work I have and how efficiently I work, I just work on my Spanish class. I decided this year to take Spanish online and so I'm doing Spanish 1 and Spanish 2 and so I'm finishing Spanish 1 today and then tomorrow I literally like tomorrow I start Spanish 2 which is crazy but very helpful because I have to take like four Spanish classes before I graduate and it's so nice to get knocked out during the summer and I love I love like doing summer classes I was asking about that on my Instagram story the other day and like I was really shocked like more than 50% of the people who are following me who voted in this poll are taking summer classes too. But yeah, right now what I'm working on is my final writing assignment. I have to write 200 words in Spanish and I'm talking about my university and I'm low-key struggling. But I need like another 40 words and then I'm good to go. you guys I finished writing my little Spanish paragraph I had to write I just had to like sit here and think I was telling someone that it was like for some reason my brain can't think in Spanish or English today I don't know why but um yeah I had one of my classmates proofread it for me which was really nice so now I feel more confident about it I tweaked a couple words like I don't know sometimes I just have like random typos it happens in English too but I submitted that. I've been talking to some of my friends. We do this thing sometimes where we chat through Instagram stories, which I guess is basically Snapchat, but we don't really Snapchat. So we'll like sit and film like three little story videos and send them in our group chat. And so I've been laughing about that. But now it's 126. I have my final at three. So at this point, it is important for me to eat some lunch, go over my notes again. I did a lot of practice last night with spelling and there's one concept like um, has to do with like possessives. I always tend to miss it. And so like, I kind of want to look at it like right before you go in so it'll be fresh on my mind. But at this point, I feel like I did um, on Quizlet that thing where you practice spelling and that really helped. So I don't want to do too much at this point and like mess me up. But yeah, today's big focus is just getting done with this class. Okay, it is almost two o'clock now, so I am eating uh, leftover noodles for lunch. I made them last night. If y'all are wondering why I never do what I eat in the day videos, it's because I do not eat very well. But I put it in this little Tupperware and I think it is warm. Basically, I take my exam at three, but I'm doing it with Proctor U. I have to have it proctored. So my thought is, usually around like 2.45 at least, I like to log on to make sure there's no tech issues because I definitely had some last time. So now I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna go cram kind of quick. I've been studying for the last few days, but I always like to do like a last minute cram sesh to make sure it's, it's all still there. <laughs> I know this is not good for me, but it is Alfredo, it is cheesy, it is delicious. Hey guys, it's me again, in my room again. <laughs> Let me update you on the last three hours of my life that I'm so sorry you weren't a part of. Actually, I'm not because I was almost crying. You might have been crying, who knows. I um, had to take my final for Spanish, but I have to do it through ProctorU and I have no idea what I did to my computer. I used to use it before, like in previous, I don't know, I did last summer, probably the summer before that. I've used it six or seven times to proctor exams. But you need like this extension on Chrome and for some reason my Chrome kept um, not allowing it. I have no idea why. I have no idea how. 
I called them three times and then I called a third time and I finally got this woman who was very nice and I think she'd helped me the time before because I've never been able to figure out what's wrong. I was with like two different proctors and like a tech support person and it was a whole ordeal but where I'm at now is I think I finally fixed it. I took the exam so I'm happy with my grade but I literally my body just you know that feeling when you have that fight or flight like that anxiety like I just feel adrenaline basically. After I took the test, I sat and I like uninstalled a bunch of plugins on my Chrome and then I cleared all the cookies because I was like, I don't know what that means, but maybe I'll fix it. I did all these different things and finally, when I go, you can test your equipment. It shows that I should be able to make it work now, which would be great. So, test is done. I have Bible study tonight at 7. I have been sitting here reading Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. I read these as a kid and I've been wanting to get back into reading so I thought what better way than to read something fun and like short and sweet. I've been reading it every night before bed, not even during the day. Now I'm taking a break because I'm literally so crazy right now. But I'm on page 244. So let me know in the comments down below if you read these books because I'm obsessed with them. If you want to leave book suggestions for me, please go ahead and do that. But yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling now, but that is what has happened so far today. So my seven o'clock Zoom Bible study for Tuesday nights is about to start. I'm in, I'm going to the Facebook group for it. I'm in a Zoom Bible study that Kenzie Elizabeth does. Um, I don't know if y'all watch her on YouTube. She's super cool, but usually we have anywhere from like 30 to 50 girls, depends on the week. But um, it's been really sweet. I invited a friend tonight. I don't know if she can make it or not. Oh, they just posted a few seconds ago. So I'm two minutes. I am about to join the meeting. I also have this problem where I literally always forget about Bible study until right before it happens. I don't know why. Time just gets away from me. So I have a little sandwich. Last night we had little hoagies and uh, roast beef. And so I just got a little sandwich to eat. I have my water. I am in the waiting room. So I just finished up my Bible study. It is eight o'clock now. I literally, I don't know, something about this. I feel like, I don't know. It's like we came together in a time that is like so difficult for the world in so many different ways, but it's really cool getting to like see these girls every week and get to know them. And like, I don't know, even though like a lot of us live all over the country and some people don't even live like in the US, some of them are international. It's been like really, really special to get to know everyone. There's something in my eyelash, can y'all see? We were praying and whenever my eyes are closed like that, like when praying, I don't know why, my eyes get so watery. And I feel so much better. I always feel so much better after I go. Okay, I'm in the living room now. My grandmother and I are gonna watch The Golden Girls now, our favorite show. And if you don't watch The Golden Girls, then you can't sit with us. But um, now we're about to sit and watch them and I think I'm gonna get some ice cream. It's kind of our favorite thing to do at the end of the day. In the evenings, I like to shower with just one light on. I know it looks really bright in here, but I'm showering with the one light on and I'm gonna get my hair all clean. I'm trying this new shampoo that my mom suggested that she has. It's the Tresemme, but it is the clean and replenish. I was hoping it would be like refreshing for my hair. It is a little after 10 o'clock. I just finished drying my hair. I'm in a gown now. I think what I'm going to do now is go get ready for bed. I just moisturize. I'm probably gonna hang out with my mom for a little bit and then get in bed because it's a mellow night. I think I told y'all earlier I've been reading The Lightning Thief. My favorite thing to do, I have mascara under my eyes, oh well. My favorite thing to do, oh, I lost the book. I think it's on my bed. Basically, I love to get in bed and I have been so off with my schedule recently that I will get in bed at like 12 and read uh, like 12 12 30 and then I will read until like 1 a.m. and is that good no but I'm hoping that I can gradually uh what's it called get a earlier bedtime get an earlier bedtime and so I'm just reading the lightning thief and I'm gonna just zip through that Percy Jackson series if you haven't read it yet I know I'm like literally almost 21 but those books slap so you should definitely watch those if you guys enjoyed this be sure to head on down below and subscribe I hope y'all are doing well and staying safe I hope your family is okay 
If you need anything or have any thoughts, let me know in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Bye.